the research that's being conducted at uh, the U.S. physics department. Okay. You also get to uh, look at, experience some cool, ex uh, exciting physics teaching demos. And in fact, you get to talk to a few real life physicists. Physics pretty much has a few core concepts that you just, uh, everything branches out from. And you start there and you take baby steps. Eventually, you get to where you need to solve a problem. Harder problems just require more and more steps. But it's, there's no unsurmountable difference. If you think that, that, that you're, you can't take physics because you're bad at math, or you've been bad at math in the past, you can be good at math, it just takes practice. Um, and the talent is how much practice it takes to be good at it, right? Uh, math is more like shooting free throws, right? Shooting, you could teach anybody to shoot free throws, except Shaq. It's like this kind of infinite challenge of like, you know, almost like an athletic thing, but it's so skill-based. So I guess like part of what makes it exciting is like how much you don't know and like seeing yourself like solve things is just really, just makes you feel awesome about yourself. At the end of the undergrad physics that you need to take to be an engineer, the, the physics professor was like, so yeah, now that you know everything that you need to know about you, me, and the baseball, like you're good to go and you can go be an engineer, but there's a whole lot more to the story. And I was like, I wanna know the rest of that story.